This is Chris, and I'm going to be showing you how to set a static IP address in Windows 7 so you can access your Ubiquiti device. Start by clicking on the Start button on the bottom left-hand corner, and then go to Control Panel. If you're in the Category view, you're going to want to start by clicking on Network and Internet, and then Network and Sharing Center. Alternatively, if you're in the Icons view, and you want to scroll down and search for Network and Sharing Center, go ahead and click and you'll be back on the page. We want to first start by clicking on the change adapter settings and then we want to make sure our wireless card is disabled so it does not interfere with our local area connection. Once disabled, right click on the local area connection and go to properties. From the properties box, double click on internet protocol version 4 and then change to use the following IP address. From here, for your IP address, type 192.168 dot one dot twenty one for the subnet mask you should just have to click and it should automatically fill it with the two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero address for the default gateway we're going to use the default IP address for your ubiquity device which is always going to be one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot twenty from here go ahead and click OK and then click OK on the local area connections properties box Go ahead and minimize the network connections page, and then you're going to want to pull up your preferred web browser. Once on, go ahead and clear the address bar on the top, and go to 192.168.1.20. This should take you into the login page. For the username and password, make sure it is UBNT, all lowercase, for both fields. Once in, go ahead and click login and this should take you to the main page of your Ubiquiti device. From here you can configure it to your particular setup. Once you are done, go ahead and close out of the web page. Go back to the network connections page. Right click on local area connection properties. Double click on internet protocol version 4 and set it back to attain IP address automatically and also attain DNS server automatically. Click OK. OK again and close out.